Hello and welcome to today's session, creating an account. Uh, usually when we're learning about any software, there's different ways to learn. Some people like to read a book, others a PDF, others would search online or maybe watch a couple of videos on YouTube or something to that effect. Of course, the best way to learn is hands-on, is when you create an account with the software that you're wanting to learn, logging in and doing the work there. So what we're going to look at today is how can I create my own Salesforce account in a test environment or a sandbox so I can practice the things that I'd like to learn. So the first step in creating an account is to go to developer.salesforce.com. And then click to sign up for a new account. This is where I can enter my information, name, email, role, company that I'm with, zip code, and remember that my username has to confirm to an email address. Once we've signed up, look at the email that you've registered with, and you'll get an email similar to this one that thanks you for signing up with Salesforce, and then to click to verify your account, and that is where you get to sign up and verify your password and confirm the password that you'd like to be using, and then you can log in into Salesforce. Now that we've created our username, now that we've created and confirmed our password, and we have access to the link, login.salesforce.com, then we can enter our username, our password, and logging into Salesforce. While logging in, sometimes you might be asked for a verification code, in which case an email will be sent to you with a verification code, take that code number and enter it and then you'll be able to log in. And with this little short exercise, now you do have your own account with Salesforce. Whether you're trying to learn to be a Salesforce administrator, developer, business analyst, or even a user or someone that's uh, curious about one of their functionalities, you have your own playground to go in and play with it. And good luck.